it suits the airplane. They, because they stretch and contract and fly, they stretch to that nine inches. It does tend to leak. Okay, it's not an airframe that expands and contracts, but hydraulic pipes, tool pipes, electrical cables. In the carpets in the cabin, have to expand and contract again, which means they do leak. So the leaks on the centre line are likely to be hydraulic, where the hydraulic pipes are on sliding joints. The ones on the edges are likely to be fuel. So to be a little bit careful where we step. Most yes. of them we got marked with um, still tool. The odd one is this is Alpha Gulf. Starting to modify them now. They've uh, started to uh, put the mud, they're waiting for the parts still. There's four of them down here. This is what they're doing. Two 
straight loads, one lower hold here, carries about two tons of baggage. Here are four little wings, except for the engines and undercoats, but our fuel tanks. Runs about 96 tons of fuel. Compensated by uh, reducing the load in passenger load with all this armour? The additional, no, the, that, that weight is significant really. Oh, right. uh, the tyres weigh an awful lot less than new tyres. Um, the Kevlar line is going to weigh about next to 400 kilos. Um, there's more. Oh, well, it's different. Bring it tightly now. Yes, there's a red. Yeah, the red. Yeah, we've got the red. Yeah, we've got the red. Yeah, we've got the red. Oh yeah, yeah. The extra weight is 400 kilos. And more significant is the amount of unused and unsuitable fuel we're going to have once we've done the mods. We don't know that yet, but we calculate probably an extra 400 kilos of unusable and unpumpable fuel, which we need to get the aircraft levelled, fill it with a known quantity of fuel to see how much we can drain out of the fuel pumps. That is a more significant. 